Incidentally, the Mars uh, Canal I just referred to was laid out by John Rutherford. Uh, welcome to uh, Warren County Preservation Day here at Rutherford Hall. We should probably name it the, um, Alamu the uh, Alamucci Hall, as Alamucci School owns, occupies, and educates uh, students at this historic building. While we're talking about Alamucci School, I would like to give a warm welcome to Joe Flynn, our new superintendent of schools. Where's Joe? Oh, there he is. Congratulations, Joe, for choosing Alamucci. You're following great educators, uh, Tim Fredericks and Seth Cohen. Before talking about this house and the grounds, I would like to discuss our family and how the property came down to my father's generation. Afterwards, I will review and thank our partners, the state of New Jersey, Warren County, and the Alamuchi Board of Education and Township, and all the volunteers that have contributed so much to make Rutherford Hall a success. This partnership has created concepts that are new, ecotourism and heritage tourism. These words may sound new to us, but the concept was familiar to our ancestors. It was Helen Morris Rutherford, daughter of Lewis Morris, the signer of the Declaration of Independence and wife of John Rutherford, who in about 1780, after an arduous trip by carriage from New York City, remarked, this is tranquility. And so it's been called since. Um, what am I doing here today um, is more like heritage tourism and ecotourism. That is, coming from the city and talking about family history and enjoying the view. In 1999, my late father, Guy Rutherford, gave a speech to the Alamuchi Historical Society, which I will draw on. We have a few copies available of this speech, and it goes into far more detail about Alamuchi and history than I possibly can. Walter Rutherford was our first ancestor to come to America to fight in the French and Indian War in about 1755. He married Catherine Alexander in 1758. Her father was a proprietor of West New Jersey. At that point, it had been turned over to the Quakers, um, and he gave this land to my forefathers. Walter added to the land. Um, my father gave me a deed, which Joan has, um, to the property, some 431 acres on the north side of the Alamuchi Hohonking Brook for 400 units of reclamation money of the Providence of West New Jersey. We've been unable to locate exactly where that land is here, um, but Walter then gave his land to his son John um, and wife Helen Morris. John's daughter Ma uh, Helen married Peter Gerard Stuyvesant descendant of Peter Stuyvesant in 1809. <clears throat> my grandfather's, I'm skipping some generations in here, my grandfather's older brother, John Stuyvesant Rutherford, changed his name to Rutherford Stuyvesant to keep the name alive, the Stuyvesant name alive, and inherit the, uh, the uh, Stuyvesant wealth and properties. Tranquility uh, which he then inherited because he was a Rutherford and the oldest son, has always been a Rutherford property, though it's generally referred to by many people here as Stuyvesant. My grandfather, Winthrop Chandler Rutherford, the oldest son of Lewis Morris Rutherford, the astronomer and uh, Margaret Stuyvesant Chandler, spent most of his youth in the Tranquility House, which burned, sadly burnt down in 1959 when the Dodgers moved out of New York. <laughs> in, uh, in 1902, he married Alice Morton, daughter of Levi Parsons Morton, whose ancestor came to this country on the Mayflower. Levi P. Morton was minister to France and personally received, or as in his capacity, received the Statue of Liberty from the French government. He served as vice president under President Harrison, and later as governor of New York. 
So, John, when you referred to going to the Statue of Liberty and seeing that, that that's also close to our uh, family. <clears throat> Talking about the house, in uh, the same year he married, my grandfather hired his close friend, Whitney Warren, <clears throat> and close friend and usher, to construct the family home here on Alamuchi Pond. As a youth, he had walked over from Tranquility House, or the Stuyvesant Estate as it's referred to here, to swim in the lake. Warren and Wetmore were famous for Grand Central Station and many other buildings in and around on the East Coast. The style was English Tudor Revival, which you see behind me. The house was very modern and, and very self-sufficient. It had an innovative heat exchange system and a hydro-powered electric system. The furniture in the house was by Duncan Fife, the famous New York furniture maker of the early 19th century. The Duncan Fife furniture was given to the White House by our family in 1962. It now furnishes the White House library. Okay. He wants to add something. <laughs> the rest of the uh, Jacobean style furniture was built from my grandparents. My cousin Lewis and I bought what was left when the nuns moved out, and it's now on loan here. My grandfather died in 1944, and my step grandmother, Lucy Mercer Rutherford, died in 1948. My father and his brothers and sisters sold the big house, as we've always called this, uh, for a nominal amount to the Daughters of Divine Charity, who ran St. Joseph's School on Staten Island. They built an infirmary for the elderly nuns, which is here to my right. They converted the game room into a chapel, which we attended very often for mass. The order gradually shrank, and the nuns tried to sell but the state blocked the sale on environmental issues. Very thoughtful leaders of Alamuchi, some of them here today, organized to buy the property and get the Good Sisters compensated. This was a great outcome for all. Um, now I would like to recognize and thank our partners. Um, the partnership between the state, the county, and our school have created a wonderful result for all of us here. Rutherford Hall is the only national and state landmark building in New Jersey whose main mission is to provide public use and educational opportunities that is attached to a public school. The children of Alamuchi learn every day the value of historic preservation and open space. We've heard from Steve Ellis and um, and John Trinitis is also here from, this, from the state. They represent the state of New Jersey and the Parks Department. They should be thanked and congratulated for their partnership with Rutherford Hall as they provide access to the state park trail system, which hopefully many will enjoy today. Hiking and biking. This is if we don't get rained on. Um, They've also been very helpful in restoring some of the open spaces envisioned by the Olmsted brothers in their original plan for Rutherford Hall and access to the lake for recreational use. We hope to continue this work with Steve Ellis and his group and the New Jersey Parks Department. We're greatly indebted to the freeholders of Warren County represented here by Ed Smith that we've just heard, and for their interest, financial support, and the preservation of sites like Rutherford Hall. This Preservation Day is a Warren County celebration thanks to Warren County Culture and Heritage Commission and Municipal and Charitable Conservancy Trust Fund Committee. Corey Tierney, who introduced us, is the director of Warren County Land Preservation we thank him and his group at the county level for organizing this day and for their financial support of Rutherford Hall. Uh, I know I'm taking a risk by thanking a few individuals that have contributed so much. 
In the early phases, Patty Malay and Richard Cron and Amy Hofnagel, who uh, volunteered Rutherford Hall for Preservation Day, did so much to organize the efforts here at the hall. Joan Lecky Salvis, our in-house historian and organizer of our historical research, I propose that she in the future be recognized as historian in residence. I wish to thank the Gibbs family for all of their support, time, and commitment to the historic fabric of this community. None of this would have happened without tireless effort of our friends and dedicated volunteers, particularly Rich Neufler, Lori Reposardi, Tom Martin, Pete DeMary, uh, and their crews, and many others that I probably I should have mentioned but didn't. I for, please forgive me. Uh, they've done so much for the Rutherford, Rutherford Hall and for this beautiful garden that I'm surrounded by. I hope you all have a wonderful Warren County Preservation Day here. Thank you very much. I just want to thank our speakers again, and with that, everybody can uh, circle around the exhibit tables. We also have a hike being led by Wild Ridge Plant, which will begin shortly, uh, and other programs throughout the day. We have uh, schedules and brochures uh, at the preservation table under the tent. So thank you again, everyone. Uh, I do not. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually um, uh, part of the family, and I'm uh, here to record some of uh, yes, um, Did you get the whole speech? I got everything. So.